back to Fast Shape Performance then. I'm Tim Davies and I'm going to narrate you now a, uh, an instrument approach video. Uh, Post-air combat, we've come back as three separate speaking units. Uh, tracking southbound, but he is on an air test. Ninja on comp. Ninja, Ninja stuff. Ninja, 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 Ninja
Three five six. And that's me putting combat flap out, which is going to help me at 230 knots to uh, maintain control of the aircraft as I level. Uh, the speed will come back, stabilise at 230 knots, and then uh, to configure, I need to get the aircraft below 200 knots. Ninja 1, turn around heading 360 degrees. Right heading 360 degrees, Ninja 1. This is going to be a further descent now down to pattern height, which is probably about 2,000 feet, I can't remember to be honest with you. And he's going to turn me onto a northerly heading, which is pretty much like a base leg, before then bring me back in uh, to about 310 for the runway heading itself. Very soon he'll ask me to configure, which means that I need to make my aircraft um, uh, configuration uh, for landing. As you can see on the map then, I'm approaching Carnarvon Airfield, so I'll be over the top of that. So that's a, an ATZ in air traffic zone up to 2,000 feet, and Valley is the one that you've got to mark over the top of its white at the moment kind of pointing towards it there aircraft left uh, about 11 o'clock at 26,000 feet and that's one of my players at 4,000 feet about 700 miles behind me that's a data link there so I can keep checking all my boys Ninja 3 descend height 2,500 feet Ninja 3 descending 2,500 Okay, so idle back again, probably using the air brake here just to get that uh, height off really because it is quite a close feed and look at that, it's 11 miles. I need to start my descent pretty much at 7 miles. So I haven't got very long that I'm going to configure, but I am on a base leg at the moment pretty much. Ninja 3, 10 right heading is 0, 3, 0 degrees. Descent height, 2,000 feet, copy checks, report complete. Right, so 3, 0 to 2,000 feet for checks, Ninja 3. And that's him asking me to configure the aircraft for landing. Ninja 1, there. Descent height 3,000 feet. Descent height 3,000 feet, Ninja 1. Ninja 2, 10 right heading 360 degrees. Right 360, Ninja 2. So you can see the coastline of Anglesey, southern Anglesey there, just approaching. That's pretty much Newburgh Forest, though, out to the right hand side, I think it is. Um, so that's me pretty much leveling. And as I level, I'll leave the throttle pretty much about 80% with air brake out to get below 200 knots, and then I'll configure the aircraft. Turn left heading 340 degrees, report checks complete. Left 340 for checks, uh, Ninja 3. So in the turn, of course, a little bit of G is going to come on. That's going to help with uh, drag and reducing that speed. And on rollout, pretty much, I'm going to start configuring uh, for air traffic. And you can see that, you know, it is quite a tight feed in for us today. Ninja 1, turn right heading 040 degrees, copy checks, report complete. Right heading 0, right heading 040 degrees. Very close, 100. 2,000 feet. Confirmed in for air travels. All flat travels. Triggers okay. Half of them again. Fox S. Good residuals. Nose was stirring. Ninja 3. Chest complete. Ninja 3. Contact top down. Stop 7. That's 7. Ninja 3. Ninja 1. I talk down. Ninja 3 is level 2,121. Three vital down identified, QFE read backwards, correct. Do not know which further instructions unless requested. Well left to center line, corrected nicely. Seven and a half miles left to center line, corrected nicely. Turn left 15 degrees, heading 325. Left of center line, corrected nicely, approaching descent point. Seven miles. So I've got gear and I've got half flap now. I don't have um, a full flap, so. As I descend, I will select that. The center line corrected nicely. So pretty much coming onto the center line then, as you can see. Six and a half miles, begin to descent now for a three degree glide path. Flap travels. That's down flap traveling then, and about three degrees selected with the aircraft symbol in the HUD. Three degrees, down flap. Six miles on glide path, left of center line corrected nicely. Now that's the ADI, I'm not using that today, I'm using the HUD, just thought I'd show you that. Turn left five degrees, heading three, two, zero. 320 then, not reading back instructions, continue the descent. On glide path. Left of centre line, correct, nicely, five and a half miles. And you can see Valley out there left, uh, it's just left of, uh, by, the, by the airspeed, pretty much. On glide path. That's me putting um, reference on it. Left of centre line, correct, nicely. Five miles. There's a lot of wind shear below the cloud here, and you can see the aircraft moving around quite considerably, and that's fine. It'll get less as I approach the ground and get away from the actual uh, sh the showers. Left of center line, correct nicely on glide path. Four and a half miles on glide path. Slightly left of center line, correct nicely on glide path. And you can see we are trending towards the runway there. We have a crosswind. The aircraft is weathercocking into that. Four miles on glide path. No, it does get a bit bumpy as I get a bit lower down, to be honest. So I'm trending back towards my landing speed, about 125 knots today. Turn left 2 degrees, heading 318. Flight 
Right, the left descent line correct in nicely. Three and a half miles. Check gear right knowledge. Get down into three. Right, the left descent line correct in nicely. Slightly below glide path. So at this point, I've looked back into the cockpit. I've checked. I've got three green lights from under carriage, and I've said three greens back to air traffic. One thousand two hundred. Three miles. Stop being windy. Engine three, clear to land. Circuit clear out knowledge. Line into three. Three greens down flat with clearance. Turn left two degrees, heading 316, on centre line, on glide path, surface wind 31017 knots. Down strip, 17 knots. knots, barrier now can be about 100 knots, 110 if I need it. On centre line, on glide path. Your speed is about 125. Two miles. Two lights, together lights. On centre line, slightly below glide path. Ninja two. That's just our student Ninja 2 asking Ninja 1 when he got the lights. Alpha builds. <coughs> On set line slightly below glide path, one and a half miles. So what am I thinking now? I'm thinking put that VV, the aircraft symbol near the runway pretty much, it's going to trend towards that. Look at my speed. Numbers, speed, numbers, speed, the whole way down. Slightly below glide path. On set line. Approaching decision height. One mile. Decision height. Passing decision height on center line, slightly below glide path. Starting to look more towards the runway now. NBS 115. Three greens down flat, clearance chase clear, off a mile. Got about 10 knots to lose, building alpha the whole time, that's what the E-bar in the center of the screen is for. The middle of the E-bar is 5 alpha, that is what we land at, so I'm going to... Check, kick, close. In this case, it's a small check, but it's a kick off the drift, close the throttle, and present the yeah, main wheels right to the runway. Three, Roger, can two, task two, good day. I'll keep the nose up for a little bit just to help the aircraft slow down, blow 100 knots, we put the nose wheel down then, and really I'm just... Pinch one, brake land. Good land, clear of zero one picture, thank you. Just make the, uh, the the master arm select switch to standby here. That's the weapon switch, so uh, that'll be standby. I'm slowing down and I'll make sure I'm at walking pace. Okay, slow speed, mass is standby, negative one eject. <coughs> the mass is the switch. Pinch your final gear down. One, one on headwind, one seven. Clear line, Mitchell. Okay, I need to activate the ground. That's me off the main runway now. On the ground, into three, taxi back. Three garage, taxi back. Pins. pins. That's the pins for the ejection seat and the pins for the canopy. Front pin. Front pin. Front pin. Beach safe, canopy safe. That's the canopy explosive cord safe. Excellent. Good. Good. Avionic. Feels good. APU5. Lights. Then all the emitters can come off. And I'm just testing the uh, central warning panel there to make sure everything is functioning. Make sure the date link. Now, tack and. Okay. I've got TCAS now. Mask, visor. Seat definitely safe. Canopy definitely safe. And that's me just uh, pretty much turning all the emitters off, so data link and everything else, uh, TCAS, anything that's going to emit from the aircraft, TACAN, um, to make sure that the ground crew are going to be safe as I taxi back in. There's the web page. You want to go there? I've got some uh, essays and stuff on performance. I really hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Uh, hook me up on Twitter, whatever you need. Um, thanks so much. Tim Davies, Fast Ship Performance.